the Global Green Growth Institute, working with developing countries to achieve poverty reduction and inclusive, sustainable economic growth. Jordan is a country with significant economic growth potential, but there are some challenges that make the road forward difficult. Jordan is currently facing several serious challenges. For instance, Jordan is considered one of the poorest countries worldwide in terms of the availability of water resources. Another pain is there for the energy sector, where Jordan imports more than 97% of, uh, of its uh, annual energy demand. And this raises uh, a lot of uh, serious flags uh, on several aspects, like the energy security aspect. And also the high uh, rate of unemployment among youth who represent more than 70% of the overall population of the country is another challenge that Jordan is currently facing. Jordan is at risk of suffering not only from severe water shortages, but also from the degradation of its critical water systems. The whole region is vulnerable to climate change due to the lack of rain and to the continuous uh, trend of desertification in our area. The growing energy demand is in conflict with the limited domestic resources available to meet this demand. Most of the fuel that uh, we use in Jordan, we import, unfortunately, 97% of our uh, fuel oil from our neighbors. And this is comes uh, to a huge uh, deficit on our uh, budget. Jordan is also faced with population-related challenges, with a population increase of almost 87% over the last decade. In Amman, the capital, the number of residents has more than doubled over the same time period. Part of this growth is due to waves of forced immigration and refugees into the country. The rapidly increasing population puts pressure on the country's natural resources, adding environmental challenges to the social and economic challenges Jordan faces. <laughs> البيئة أنا وأنا جاي من اتجاه الجنوب من محافظتي أنظر إلى سماع عمان صباحا الساعة خامسة صباحا أنظر إلى غمام سوداء. Another consequence of Jordan's rapid population growth is the increasing production of waste. There is a lack of funds for modern waste collection infrastructure. Recycling is also rare due to a lack of training and modern resources. Socially, the country faces high unemployment rates, and many areas of business, such as farming, face considerable struggles. أهم التحديات كمزارع الشح المياه شح المياه هذا واحد اثنين كلفة كلفة الطاقة الطاقة وارتفاع كلف الإنتاج وكمان السوق السوق عندنا السوق عندنا كثير من المرات يكون سيء يعني ما نقدر نصرف منتجاتنا الزراعية لأنه ما في ما في جهات معينة ما في جهات ترعى أو تسوق لنا فاحنا نودي منتج المنتجات العمان Aware that these challenges hinder the country's growth, the government of Jordan has taken action to address these issues and boost sustainable development in the country. With the support of the Global Green Growth Institute and other partners, such as the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, the government of Jordan has developed and begun implementing its National Green Growth Plan, the NGGP. The National Green Growth Plan, or as we call it, the NGGP, aims at uh, achieving a, a smooth transition towards the green growth for Jordan in the upcoming 10 years. It builds on the already available national strategies and plans, especially Vision 2025. Drawing on its experience and expertise from its full scope of global operations, GGGI is leveraging networks, knowledge and best practices to accelerate green growth in Jordan. Fortunately, we have a great partnership with GGI. To be honest with you, we are getting huge support from GGI and we hope that in the future, this cooperation will continue in a, in a very good base. The policies and actions included in the National Green Growth Plan are aligned with Jordan's goals regarding economic, social and environmental performance. 
they cover six priority sectors of the green economy in Jordan, namely energy, water, waste, transport, tourism and agriculture. A key component of the GGGI and the Ministry of Environment moving the NGGP forward and implementing green growth actions is the Jordan Environment Fund. The main objective of the Jordan Environment Fund is to provide assistance, financial assistance in specific, to projects that have environmental uh, priorities. To further support financing, the Global Green Growth Institute is implementing this national financing vehicle to boost more green development projects. This vehicle is going to focus on how to secure international funding for the projects, on how to um, provide direct contribution to financing these projects, creating or promoting green investments, and also creating partnerships, uh, public-private partnerships, and even private-private uh, partnerships. The National Green Growth Plan is moving on to the next stage. By having this National Green Growth Plan, Jordan will be trying to solve its uh, you know, uh, problems, especially when it comes to resources. Now uh, the new trend is going to renewable energy and hopefully we will be able to achieve our goals. The goals are ambitious. The National Green Growth Plan can help achieve economic growth in a sustainable way. Create jobs with high added value in green growth sectors while protecting existing jobs in sectors threatened by climate change. The plan will enhance the green investment environment in the country, opening the horizon for more investments, developments and partnerships support efficiency and savings initiatives to secure affordable access to water and energy, unlock growth potential with green technology and know-how, and protect Jordan's natural resources for future generations. At the end of the day, we are aiming for sustainable development, and this is the only way to get there. It's a challenge, but the road to green growth starts with one step. Jordan is taking it in partnership with committed stakeholders and the government is leading the way. The National Green Growth Plan is in place and DGGI and the Jordanian government are ready to move ahead with the implementation.